Kims. So we're a, we're a teal named family. We're a bunch of teals. We're a bunch of glorious teal named folk. Um. So I can I can answer that in a in a whisper, T Bub. Um. Uh, give me a touchback, please. I'm going this way. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Don't hurt me. I'll I'll whisper it to you, T Bub. It's um. It depends on what works for you. You know. I think there are. I think there are two clearly better options. There are two preferable options, if they're available to you. And then, based on what you choose, you know, you're choosing between a flat fee and a percentage. Um, so that'll depend on how often you want to... You know, it's what, it's what numbers work better for you based on how often you're going to um, uh, take out of the pot. But, I can whisper it to you. Yes, some even have underscores. Those are the mutants. We try not to, um... We try not to talk to them or humor them in any way. Except Borgrim, he's okay. He's, you know, he's different. He's not like the rest of them. Is the- is my mom real? What a question to ask, Tom. Tom, I can't believe you'd ask me if my own mother is real. That- that brings into question... So many questions. That brings into question my existence. My very essence. For if my if if my mom isn't real, then I can't be real. And maybe my dad's just a weeaboo and my mom's a body pillow. I don't I don't I don't know. I I don't wanna go down that road, man, because honestly, even if I'm not real, I don't wanna know. Dive! That might have been four. Oh, that was four. That was four. Do I have a mother? <laughs> Alright. Guys, it's time to tell the truth. It's time to come clean. Stop the show. Guys, stop the show. It's time to- it's time to bring Walter Payton into this. Alright, it's time to get real. Guys... Walter Payton is here. Because this is... God, this is hor- this- that's a horrible sound. Oh, that's even better! Ooh, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that, actually. <laughs> and the juxtaposition with, um... I'm gonna try to put some, some like full house, like music, hold on, touching, sitcom, it's fine, this is like a joke that's gonna take three minutes to, to put together, but it, it's fine, we're gonna, oh here's a royalty free sad piano music, it's okay, there's an ad on it, it's fine, guys, buy Lime Rita Bud. Budweiser or something. Alright, can you hear that above the Sega? Can you hear it? Guys, can you hear it? Here. Guys. It's time to tell the truth. It's time to tell the truth, guys. I don't have a mom. <gasps> I don't have a mom. <sighs> I don't have a mom. I don't, I don't have a mom. <sighs> I don't have a mom. <sighs> Guys, please. Guys. I'm an Eggman! I'm an Eggman! I was hatched from an egg! I oh shit, wait, time out. Oh, oh, oh! Wait! Wait! No! Okay. I'm an Eggman! 
<laughs> How loud is that, by the way? Is that really unbearably loud? Because that would be cool with me. That'd be okay. How how was that? Did that were the audio levels were the audio levels right? Did the audio did the audio levels work, guys? Oh, it's still playing. But we have happy football music mixed in with it. This is kind of like a um, this is a metaphor for my life. Like all this loud happiness, hiding the fact that I'm an egg man that was hatched from an egg and I have no hair and I'm thirty. Guys, I'm 30! I have no hair! Oh shit, it's swelling, I feel it. Guys, it's 4th and 2! We can't let them get a first down! Because they're winning by 50 points. Oh, they're punting, that's fine. Uh, guys, I have no mom. I have no mom, guys. Sorry about that. I got- I've got three dads. I'm one of them. I raised myself. Guys, I raised- I raised myself. And then the self that I raised raised the other self. So I- I have two- I have two or three dad. I have three dads. Also, I raised the two that raised the one. So it's- it's a long story, but basically I'm- I'm my own three dads. Guys. I'm a time traveler. It's very complicated. Even if I explain it, I risk uh, creating a paradox and wiping out my own existence. So please just trust me when I say, guys, I'm my own three dads. Have a good night, PK. I know I'm. You're gonna cry yourself to sleep over the fact that I have no mother. Try not to be too upset, BK. You were an Angel's art project? Oh, man. That either means you're really good-looking or you're, or you're the opposite of that. My mom just called me ugly. Wait, I don't have a mom. My, um, my three dads just called me ugly. They said I'd have to work hard my whole life or else nobody would like me. Sounds like an award-winning Paul Reiser 80 sitcom. <laughs> Alright. All right, well, hold on a second. Am I, am I the only guy here that actually really liked the sitcom Mad About You? Because that was a good sitcom. I liked it. It was about, you know, a nice New York couple. Go, you know, it was like it was like Seinfeld light. It was like, it was like Seinfeld, but it was happy. You know, it was a, it was an actual comedy. And uh, you know, Paul Reiser was a. A charming middle-aged man I mean I liked it you know Helen Hunt was in it you know you, you got the Helen Hunt you got the Paul Reiser you got the uh, the friend I forget her name she was the friend remember the friend they had a friend they had a friend <clears throat> you didn't watch mad about you didn't watch mad about you you didn't watch Man About You, Tom? <clears throat> I need a mod to get the band command ready, please. Tom- Tom didn't watch Mad About You. No, but that's okay. Did you watch Seinfeld, Tom? Did you watch Seinfeld? Or are you, are you perhaps not a TV- are you not a TV watcher? So when I was a kid, I was a big TV watcher. I would just waste hours and hours watching TV. Now I don't watch TV at all. I don't watch TV at all, but back in the day, I was a big Mad About You fan, and and I always call it Tim the Toolman Taylor, but it's called something else. I forget. Home Depot or some Home Improvement. It was called Home Improvement. His wife was not as likable as Helen Hunt. Yeah, I I hate the network shows now too. Um, well, I don't know if you hate them, but I hate them. I, I hate most of TV that's out now. Um, I find any any of the writing just like mind numbing, and the acting is terrible, and everything else. I I hate mostly all of it. 
the things I'll watch are kind of particular things. I think the silliest thing I'll watch on TV is the show called Impractical Jokers. That is a funny show. It's like a bunch of Italian or like mixed Italian guys from New York and they're just like they're friends or whatever from college or high school or whatever. And they just, you know, they just do pranks. They just do like PG pranks, not like the horrible things you see on YouTube. And um it's a really funny show. That's worth my time watching. Um, I'll watch Shark Tank sometimes. Because... I find it interesting, even though it's... You know, it, it is what it is. But I find it interesting. The Golden Girls, I used to watch that when I was really little. I used to watch the Golden Girls and Hercules and Xena around the same time, I think. Because that was just what was on on a Saturday morning. Or Saturday afternoon. The Impractical Jokers one bothers you. I used to watch The World's Dumbest, but then I got sick of that too. I don't know. No, it's more like, um... It's not like that kind of a prank, it's like... So, like, each each round, like, one of the four guys is it, basically. Like, it. And the guy that's it has to do what the others tell him to do, so... Um, it'll be like... I don't know, they're in Columbus Circle or something. And they'll be like, okay, you need to find somebody and get them to... I don't know, it'll be like, go up and talk to this guy and just say, like, whatever. And then as they're talking to him, they'll be like, alright, now, every time, you know, they say something, like, shush them, or like, do something else, like, socially awkward. And and the idea is, it's it's like, not as much pranking the person, like the stranger, it's more about embarrassing the friend, like getting them to do just socially unacceptable or embarrassing things. Basically to make them look like idiots or, or like jerks. And that's kind of funny. Like go to a restaurant and like put, put potatoes on this person's plate. I don't know, I'm not selling it well, but I, th I think it's funny. It's silly. It's it's like a silly, thoughtless show, and that's the one I like to watch. Oh, intercept it! Intercept it! Did I intercept it? Interception! Oh shit, I did something. <laughs> I did something, wait, wait, wait. I changed- Oh my god, I changed the frame skip. What happened? It's only going up. Oh god, no. Oh no. Okay, it's going down. Oh my god. I think 60 is normal? I don't know anymore. Seems about normal. Oh, I'm the... Go! Yeah, baby, go! Go! That was good. That was a good run. Yeah, like, walk around with untied shoes, you know, like... Like, just... Like, talk to someone and, like, sneeze in their face. Just, like, really... Really embarrassing things. Like... Like, eat, eat some food and then not... Like, don't throw out the trash, just... Place it on the ground. You know, go up to a couple and ask them, like, how's the poking? You know, stuff like that. Yeah, or like, you know, like, take your soup blazer, and instead of only, um... Like, buttoning the top button and leaving the rest of the buttons alone, button every button. 
on the middle part.